Hi and welcome to RoboCrace. Today we shall work with the MPU 6050 accelerometer. An accelerometer is an electromechanical device that will measure acceleration forces. These forces may be static like the constant force of gravity pulling at your feet or they could be dynamic that is caused by moving the accelerometer. Let us now go over the connections for MPU 6050 to the Raspberry Pi. First we shall connect the VCC pin. Connect a jumper to the VCC pin of the accelerometer and the other end to pin number 4 on the Raspberry Pi which is the 5 volt pin. Next we shall connect the ground pin. Connect a jumper to the ground pin of the accelerometer and the other end to pin number 6 on the Raspberry Pi, which is ground pin on the Raspberry Pi. Now we shall connect the SDA pin. Connect a jumper to the SDA pin of the accelerometer and the other end to pin number 3 on the Raspberry Pi. And finally we shall connect the SCL pin. Connect a jumper to the SCL pin of the accelerometer and the other end to pin number 5 on the Raspberry Pi. The connections are pretty simple and now we shall go over the code. This is the Python code for the accelerometer. Here we have the class for the MPU 6050 which has certain global variables and functions to read and write parameters to and from the accelerometer. There is the constructor and various other functions such as get accelerometer data which returns the data from the accelerometer and get gyro data which will return the gyroscope readings. There are several other functions to set the parameters. We then create an MPU6050 object by calling the constructor and then in an infinite loop we print these readings at regular intervals. Let us now have a small demo of the MPU 6050 in action. Here we have mounted it on a breadboard and connected it to the Raspberry Pi where the Python code has been uploaded. I shall now run the Python code and we can see the different readings given by the accelerometer on the terminal. You can see as I tilt the accelerometer in different directions, we get different readings for the acceleration and gyroscope in all the three axes. This data can be logged and uploaded to various platforms such as MQTT, Firebase, etc. Here we have covered a very basic application of the accelerometer, but this application can be extended much further to detect the orientation of robots, their location using a technique called inertial navigation, to build self-balancing robots, to get roll pitch and yaw angles for quadcopters and many more. You can find the code related to this tutorial in the blog given in the description below. For more such content, stay tuned and see you next time. Thank you.